The Econet Bulldog water valve robot is a high torque wireless leak prevention system that mounts directly over your existing plumbing in minutes. No plumber required. The Bulldog's unique design mounts directly to your valve, not your water pipes. This eliminates strain on the plumbing joints that can lead to leaks down the road. The Econet Bulldog can be combined with a Samsung SmartThings home automation hub and Econet leak sensors to automatically shut off your water and alert your smartphone whenever a leak is detected. Inside the Smart Home Valve Kit you'll find a quick start guide, a support card, an Econet Z-Wave leak sensor, the Bulldog controller, the Bulldog, the large Bulldog mount, silicone fusion tape to wrap around your existing water valve. This gives the Bulldog mount a better grip. Inside the smaller box we have the medium bulldog mount, the small bulldog mount, the bulldog power supply, an Econet leak sensor quick start guide, a remote extension for the leak sensor, lever pins for the bulldog, and finally batteries for the leak sensor. Inside the SmartThings box you'll find the SmartThings Hub, the instruction card with your welcome code on it, an Ethernet cable, backup batteries, the back of the hub slides open to put the batteries in, and the power supply for the SmartThings hub. For extra gripping force, wrap your existing water valve with the included silicone fusion tape before mounting the Bulldog. Peel the backing off before wrapping the silicone tape around your water valve. Wrap the tape around the opposite side of the valve handle. Stretch the tape as you wrap it to ensure a snug fit. To attach the Bulldog to your water valve, use the circular clamp to mount the bracket over the silicone tape. You can orient the bracket in the direction that works best for your particular water valve. Fasten the circular clamp snugly. To mount the Bulldog to the bracket, start with the lever pins as wide as they will go. Remove the mounting bolt at the top of the bracket. Mount the Bulldog onto the bracket and affix snugly with the mounting bolt. Plug in the Bulldog to the controller. Be careful, the plug only fits in one direction. 
plug in power to the controller and test the operation by pressing the button. The Bulldog should move smoothly and remain solid on the valve. If your water valve is not completely closed, push the valve fully closed by hand and then reposition the lever pin on the closing side of the valve tight to the valve handle. Press the button on the controller to open the water valve. Move the water valve to the fully open position by hand if necessary and reposition the lever pin tight to the opening side of the valve handle. Check the operation several times and make adjustments to the lever pins or bracket hardware as required. Your water valve should open and close completely with the Bulldog mounted securely. To pair the Bulldog and other Z-Wave devices with a SmartThings Home Automation Hub, first you must remove the device from a blacklist that prevents unpaired devices from interacting with the hub. To do this, select the menu icon in the top left corner of the app. Select where it says Hub is Online. Select Z-Wave Utilities, then General Device Exclusion. Tap the Remove button to put the SmartThings Hub into Exclusion Mode then press the button on the Bulldog controller five or six times quickly. The app should indicate that you have successfully removed the device. Tap Done, then tap Cancel and navigate back to the home screen. Tap the Add a Thing button to put the hub into Inclusion Mode. Press the button on the Bulldog controller five or six times quickly. The Bulldog should pair as a Z-Wave switch. Tap on the device name to change it. Test the Bulldog by pressing the button on the app to turn the water on. To pair the leak sensor with the SmartThings Hub, follow the same steps as before. Select the menu icon in the top left corner of the app. Select where it says Hub is Online. Select Z-Wave Utilities and then General Device Exclusion. Tap the Remove button to put the SmartThings Hub into Exclusion Mode, then press the button inside the leak sensor five or six times quickly. Tap Done, then tap Cancel and navigate back to the home screen. Tap the Add a Thing button to put the hub into Inclusion Mode. Press the button in the leak sensor five or six times quickly. The sensor should pair as a Z-Wave door window sensor. Tap on the device name to change it. Your leak sensor is now configured for SmartThings. Now let's create a SmartThings automation routine to shut off the water valve and send a notification if water is detected by the leak sensor. From the main screen, select the automation icon at the bottom. 
At the top of the screen, select Add a Smart App. From the next menu, select Smart Things Recommends and then Smart Lights. Tap which devices you want to control. Then select the Bulldog and tap Done. Tap where it says What do you want to do and select Turn Off before tapping Done. Tap Select Trigger and then Open Close from the next menu. Tap which open close sensors and then Leak Sensor. Now save the automation routine. To send notifications to your phone, select the Routines tab at the top of the automation page. Tap Add a Routine. Here we are creating a water off notification to let us know if the water valve has been turned off for any reason. Tap Automatically Perform Water Off, then from the Trigger menu, select Something Turns On or Off. Select Trigger Device, the Bulldog. Change Turns On to Turns Off. Then tap Save. Turn on the push notification, and then tap Save again. Let's add another routine to send a notification if water is detected by the leak sensor. We'll name this routine Leak Notify. Tap Automatically Perform Leak Notify to set the trigger. Scroll down the list to something opens or closes. Tap Which and then select the leak sensor and tap Done. Tap Save in the top right corner. Scroll down to find the push notification setting and slide to On. Tap Save in the top right again. We can now test the automation by ensuring the water valve is on and applying some water to the leak sensor. As soon as the sensor detects the water, the Bulldog shuts off the water valve and two notifications are sent to my phone running the SmartThings Classic app. One notification for the leak and one telling me that the water has been turned off. Thanks for watching and happy home automating from Econet Controls.